working families are tonight calling for answers about the deaths of inmates in a privately run prison where violence is increasing. Over the past 14 months, six men have died at Forest Bank Jail in Salford. Well, today, a prison inspector's report said violent incidents had doubled, self-harm had gone up, and many inmates no longer feel safe. Here's our chief reporter, Dave Guest. Michael McDonough's mum says he had a history of mental health problems. He was 27 when he died in a cell at Forest Bank Prison earlier this year. He told his mum the place frightened him. He was fighting, screaming every night, people being attacked over drugs. Um, just the violence and the drug thing, and he, was, he knew he was scared when he was in there. Prison inspectors say Michael wasn't the only one feeling afraid at Forest Bank. In a new report, they say a third of inmates reported feeling unsafe. Among vulnerable prisoners like Michael, more than half said they feared for their safety. And that's hardly surprising, because the inspection team found that violence had doubled there in three years, most involved prisoners attacking other prisoners. As yet, Michael's family say they still have no idea how he died. Michael was poorly. He wasn't, he wasn't strong enough in his mind to be in prison. He should never have gone to prison. Inspectors say some vulnerable inmates don't get the support they need. Cases of self-harm had increased significantly since the last inspection report in 2016. Yet the inspectors said that the care and management of those inmates at risk of suicide or self-harm was poor. Ray Lucy died in Forest Bank in July, five months after Michael McDonough. His partner says he too had spoken of violence among the inmates, but she says he also had severe breathing difficulties that weren't properly addressed. He looked terrible. He told me he was frightened. He said, I'm frightened, I'm not going to be able to breathe. He died the following day. What have you been told about the circumstances of his death? Nothing, really. I don't know if he had a heart attack, even, or a stroke. I have no idea how he died. The prison says that as investigations into Ray and Michael's deaths are continuing, they can't comment at this stage. Meanwhile, the inspection report did have some positive things to say about Forest Bank. Overall, it's described as a well-led prison. Well, in a statement, Forest Bank said they were proud that the inspectors had recognised the good work that Forest Bank is doing. However, they also said that they would be taking on board and acting on the inspection recommendations to make Forest Bank a safer place for those who live and work here. What do you want now? Justice for Michael. I want to know why my son was allowed to die in that prison on his own. Dave Guest. BBC Northwest Tonight, Salford.